up guys welcome back to the fig hill youtube channel and today it is time for weekly purchases now we got a good amount of stuff so we're just gonna rip into it um number one just got this in the mail today don't know why i got this i had this crazy idea that i'm gonna start collecting uh wrestlers who were in movies their figures and so i picked up this jumanji rock figure um it's kind of like a gi joe almost comes with like a 40 dollar rhino or something like that and i wasn't going to pay for that but i got this for 10 bucks and i was like you know what it's cool enough it's a friggin jumanji figure so he comes it's actually the same figure from Rampage, maybe? One of his other movies, which is repainted. But he comes with a removable knife. Pretty good likeness, I think. Um, yeah. So I picked up The Rock from Jumanji. Um, this was actually a gift. I thought it was pretty cool. This is from Diamond. It is... Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling seven full color stickers. It's an unopened pack, and uh, I thought it was pretty cool. These were some uh, Christmas gifts that my dad got me that he uh, didn't get in the mail until late. And the other thing that he got me, which I was really excited about, is this Rocky Three Jack's Pacific. Thunderlips from the 1982 film. Um, now, of course, these were made by Jeremy Padauer, who now makes our beloved AEW figures. Um, I didn't have any of these Rocky figures, and I was really excited to add this. Um, on top of that, I also got this Kane stack down figure um don't know why again guys sometimes it gets late at night and i just start buying stuff and then sometimes it gets so late at night that i start falling asleep while i'm searching for things and i end up with stuff that i did not want and i don't remember ever buying or searching for like this wcw nwo bend and flex wrestlers kevin nash um yeah I was definitely sleeping when I bought this one, guys. Can't really say too much about it, but it's going to go with the uh, bendums down there. But very, very weird. Cheap, though. And I never had one of these before. Like, I was like, is that mold on it? But apparently not. I don't know. Very weird. I did buy it, though. Not something I've ever searched for in my entire life, but regardless, there it is. The other thing I got from Amazon, boom, WrestleMania Elite build a Paul Ellering and Rocco figure edge with the bent bat and the great test likeness. I have yet to see somebody pull off like a really great test custom. I'm waiting for that because I think this head would be perfect for that, but um. Yeah. To go along with that, I also picked up from Amazon China from the same set, and she comes with Rocco. And it's so funny to see Edge come with a bald head and China come with a Rocco figure. A lot of people are complaining about it, Minton Car Collectors, because it's like, oh, it's like, why does she have this dummy? But um, for those of you that may be new to collecting Mattels or anything like that, a few years ago, they used to take these Build-A-Figure pieces and they would tuck them down here where you couldn't see them. So it didn't distract and take away from the mint on card action figure. Um, and while I do collect Elite's Mock, I buy the Build-A-Figure sets and I open them up so I could have the Build-A-Figure. Well, for the Build-A-JR set, I can't tell you how many figures I bought opened up only to find that they were resealed after taking out the pieces. Because Elites are one of the easiest packages to open and reseal. Um, so that was a letdown. But that's why they initially did it, because there was a lot of thefts. And there was something said, I believe, by... 
I want to say Bill, but I'm not sure. They did acknowledge the theft aspect because it can't be seen in the package. Um, I also picked up this Clark W. Griswold Christmas Vacation with the family roadster and the Christmas tree uh, pop ride. Uh, if you guys don't know, I collect a lot of Christmas movie pops and I display them at Christmas time. Um, it's one of my other weird collections that I have. But uh, I wasn't going to get this. It really confused me because I've always known their car to be green. And then this was purple. I watched the movie back and I, it kind of looks purple, but it kind of looks green. It's a really weird phenomenon for me. But um, ended up picking this up and I'm really glad I did. It's going to really look great next year with my uh, Christmas pop set up. And last but not least is something I've been on the hunt for for a very long time. And I just dropped it and smashed up the box, which is very upsetting. Damn it. So this was mint about five seconds ago. And I dropped it. Great. Oh, inflatable bot bag. Hasbro. These are very hard to come by in really good condition. And I came by one and I just dropped it. And now I have to get another one, so... That's really cool. Yeah. That's a bummer. Aside from this, like, there's a couple creases, but it's very hard to find one of these in great condition like that because they are so heavy. And it's a weird, weird weight that when they drop, they do crush like that. Um, and look what I did. Man, I don't know what's going on. I've been dropping a lot of stuff lately. If you've been watching the fig hunts, I mean, like, I'm really dropping stuff. Maybe I should get that checked out. But So they made three different bot bags, Hasbro. They made, obviously, Hulk Hogan. This is the Hulk Hogan one. Ultimate Warrior and Jake the Snake Roberts. And um, I really want to get all three. Um, I've made it a point to have a collection of... I don't really know what to say to call it, but I guess... Um, Hasbro miscellaneous items. For instance, um, we have the Jake the Snake snake there. Um, I've also picked up the belt, the Ultimate Warrior wrestling gear, Hulk Hogan's wrestling gear, and the trace plates. Uh, I just like the obscure stuff. I think it's really cool. But um, this is the newest piece. And until I find another one, this is the one that's going to be sitting in my collection. And you guys saw it first. I damaged it. So that's a real bummer. And last but not least, I got this gimbal that I'm using. And I'm trying to figure it out. So if it's a weird angle that you're, you're seeing me do, um, I'm trying to figure out how to use this and get it all centered and stuff. But... Uh, Really cool tool to use and keep these shots nice and steady. So, hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And, uh, yeah, so we got Hulk Hogan, Bot Bag, we got the Rock Jumanji figure, Rock and Wrestling sticker pack, the uh, Bridge Direct Stack Down Cane, Christmas Vacation Pop Ride. Thunderlips, China, Edge, and this thing that just showed up and I was really confused by. So, uh, yeah, there's a couple of things we got this week. Stay tuned. We got some cool figure hunts coming. Can't wait to show you. Take it easy, guys. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at FigHeel and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. And you can visit the merch store at Pro Wrestling Tees and check out the Unreleased Wrestling Figure Coloring Books available now on Amazon.com, including Prime Shipping.